everyone, Eileen here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a true false quiz on Canvas. Um, it's really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, I have my date set up, my module set up. So what I'm going to do is click on the plus sign. And right here where it says add, I'm going to click quiz and new quiz. And I'm going to name my quiz. So um, this quiz is for ESL students. So I'm going to name it ESL Comprehension Quiz. And I'm going to add the item. And um, now I'm going to actually edit the quiz. So click on your quiz once it's created and click edit. Okay, so at this point, um, you'll put your instructions right here where it says quiz instructions in the text box. I'm going to go to my Word document and copy the instructions for the quiz and paste. And for this uh, quiz, I want the students to read um, the story and answer the true or false questions. So I'm going to scroll down. Um, right here is where you put the due dates, available time frame. If you want to extend an assignment for students, give them a later date. That's where you do that on the add button. Um, but I'll show you this at a later date. So once you're done with that, you'll click on questions, new question. And like I said before, I want the students to read um, a little story and then answer the true and false questions. So what I'll do here is click text, no question. And I'll copy my story from my Word doc. Copy. Paste. And then I need to update my question. If I don't click on this update question, my my uh, question will not be saved. So make sure you click update question. Okay, so here's my story. Now I wanna actually write the questions. So click question and select the true and false tab. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my Word doc, copy the sentence and paste and scroll down and this is where you'll select either if it's true or false let me refer back to my answer sheet and the answer is false so i need to click on the false arrow a neat feature is say the student selects true you can write comments um, for the student um, just giving them some feedback why the answer is not true or you can give them feedback why they picked the correct answer. Um, you can give them feedback in regards to where they can find the correct answer, um, the certain page number and all that. Okay, so my correct answer is false and need to update my question. And after you're done with that, you click save and you're pretty much all done. Let's preview the quiz. So I have my instructions and they have my story. Students will read the story and then they'll answer the question and they'll answer either true or false and they will submit the quiz. Um, it's pretty pretty easy and simple. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.